Yeah, hi everyone, I'm Shubham. Uh, I'm an assistant professor in the Robotics Institute. And today I'm excited to tell you a bit about my research. Um, so I work in the area of computer vision where you know, as a community, we've striven to make interesting inferences about images that we see. And we've made a lot of progress in this. Uh, for example, given just this one image, uh, the latest systems that we have can very easily recognize the objects that are present in this and can even go ahead and identify the pixels that belong to each of these objects, such as the couch and the chair. Um, and you know, while this is great, what this understanding of these 2D pixels forgets is that this image is essentially just a window to the world behind it. Um, that in some sense, there's this underlying physical real 3D world, and this image is just a painting that's depicting, depicting it from a single viewpoint. And if you're a robot that is seeing this image or seeing this painting, you don't really care about understanding this image. You care about acting in the underlying world. And so with that in mind, my research argues that labeling pixels is not enough. And we need to build perception systems that understand this underlying physical 3D and spatial world. Uh, and sort of with that goal in mind, uh, my research looks at understanding spatial and physical models of the world from input images or videos. And here we're just seeing one example where given an image, we're able to understand the spatial structure of it. Uh, but more generally, I'm interested in building some model of the world from perceptual inputs, such as images or videos. And we want this model to tell us both how the world is and also how it might change if, for instance, a robot or a human is acting in it. Uh, and just as a couple of examples to show you, uh, you know, the systems that we've built can understand the 3D structure of objects that they're seeing. For example, can reconstruct these birds that you're seeing in 3D and also imagine the texture on them. Um, and these systems can also improve as they see more and more views of an object. For example, given six or seven images of an object, they can reconstruct very precise, high quality 3D models of what they're seeing. Um, and not just understanding the spatial structure, but they can also understand the physics and dynamics of the world. Uh, for example, given this video of someone interacting with an object, uh, can understand what forces are being applied at what locations um, and can even simulate this interaction in, let's say, a physics simulator. And to enable all these applications, one key question that my research looks at is how do we enable learning in these systems? And one very popular common answer in the computer vision community uh, is to just learn from annotations where we just provide a system millions of examples of the task that it's trying to do. For example, if it's trying to classify images, we give it a million labeled images that tell it that this image is a mite, this image is a leopard, and it learns from these annotations. Now, unfortunately, when we are building models of the world, these sort of annotations are not possible to get. And one approach that my research takes is to learn by prediction consistency. And what I mean by that is, as you're inferring some physical models of the world, we know that these models obey the laws of geometry and physics, and this can let us make certain predictions. For example, how does the world look if I look, move around? Or how does the world change if I apply a force? And just by enforcing that these predictions match what we observe, we can learn without using any human annotations. And all of the applications that I showed you earlier were in fact enabled by a system learning on its own by just watching and using the laws of physics and geometry. Um, and again, thank you for listening to my research and please reach out to me if uh, any more details might help.